To start building this meteorite scene, let's start with the world object template. To see how this scene is working better, I'm going to switch the video preview to this grassy yard. It's one of the videos included in this Spark installation folder. We can close this little tutorial window and delete the delete me object. That's just this placeholder thing here. So now we can grab our meteorite and just drag it into the scene. If you drag an object here, it'll automatically import into your scene, but it usually will throw it inside of the focal distance and not necessarily out here. So you want to take this meteorite and drag it into the drag here section. And you can see it's quite large. So let's change the scale to 0.1 and lift it up a little bit by changing the Y to 0.35. Now you might notice the meteorite looks a little bit like a brain with that <laughs> spinal cord thing hanging down. So let's go inside here and change the X axis rotation 90 degrees. Just so now it doesn't seem as much like a brain. Now you'll notice the meteorite is spinning slowly, and that's because this template project comes with this block here, this looping animation block. If we click in here, we can change all these settings that are built into this block. So let's turn the speed down to 0.1. That way it's not going so crazy. And we can add a simple shadow again just by clicking on the meteorite model and going to Actions, Add Simple Shadow. And you probably saw this little circle up here. If we change to simulate touch and move around, you can see as we're moving this thing down here, this little ring slowly appears. And then as we release, it fades away. That's just something that's also included in this world object template. Now for cleanliness, I'm just going to go through and clean up the nodes down here in the patch editor. All right. That looks good enough.